In Tecla EPM Go, we've added functionality to match the, the drawing log functionality that we have in Tecla EPM 2020i. So if I launch into EPM Go and I go to the drawing area, we see a complete new design for the drawing area. And in the upper left hand corner, we can quickly switch between the, the different drawing logs that are now available in EPM. So if I wanted to simply look at parts drawings, I could quick filter to get to the parts drawings or the assembly drawings or the general arrangement or erection drawings. Um, so uh, the ability to see the right information very quickly. If I click on the drawing number, I can see detailed information about that drawing but I can also see information about the revision or the transmittal. And this sort of detail is very useful for project managers who want to use EPM Go out on job sites. Uh, not only can they view the information, but they can edit the information for a particular drawing or revision, or they can add uh, new revisions. So um, we'll see later on that we want to definitely set the permissions, how much control people have in this new drawing log area. Um, doesn't make sense necessarily for shop guys to be able to edit information here. Um, but for project managers, it makes sense. And we can also edit drawings in mass. So if I do a multi-selection and edit, I can update multiple drawings at once. We've also made enhancements in what information you can see within EPM Go. So if I come over here to the settings, I can add or remove fields. So I'll add a couple fields here. And I can also reorder how it displays. So if I wanted category to appear earlier in the list, if I hit apply settings, I now see that category has moved and I've added additional uh, fields to, to my drawing log. Uh, we also have new searching capabilities. So if I come in and start typing B2, we see that it automatically updates as I'm typing and it gives me search results that contain any drawing that has B2 in the drawing number. We can also search by different types of uh, information. So I've changed over to drawing description and if I type in the word beam it goes through and gives me only uh, only items that have beam in the description and if I hit the X it clears that filter. Uh, right next to it there's also filtering options so um, just like what's happening in search you could filter by drawing description and it gives you all the options so you can do that a little bit more efficiently than in the search. So here I'm going to say beams, braces, and handrails, and apply setting, and and see uh, see it, it filtered down. So a lot of great functionality and flexibility. Know that if you prefer the old style, there is this button here that takes you back to the old drawing log style. Um, note that. The actual viewing of drawings, we've got that little PDF icon to the left that allows us to view drawings. Um, and let me flip back over to EPM and take a look at the user settings. So if I go to administration and I go to remote permissions, um, we can see which drawing logs are available for this user, but we can also see what they can edit in EPM Go. So there's all sorts of settings about whether they can update drawings, delete drawings, um, add revisions, update revisions, um, and if they can do it one at a time or as a batch. So uh, granular permissions to make sure that your users are getting the proper experience.